Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and this is the Samurai at level 58 quest. Uh, a heartrending rumor has blown Momozigo's way, and Musasai has a mind to delve into it. Ah, uh, Katarina, your aura does not lie. You've grown stronger still. Since embarking upon our journey, you have made remarkable progress. Ere long, you will be a fully-fledged samurai. But on to our mission. As we scoured the snow-swept stones and pillars of the city for evil, Momozigo came upon a disturbing rumor. It's just awful, Katarina. A staged, a staged tragedy played out in real life. A young couple threw themselves off a cliff in the western highlands. As I hear it, the two were sweethearts from lowborn families, but the girl had the ill luck of being fancied by a young noblewoman, nobleman. Uh, this Hanfrain tried to force them apart, and he hounded them so badly they decided to end it. Two innocent lost lives lost, and why? Because some lordling had to think with his member. He must be punished, I tell you. Heartrending as this rumor is, rumors are no basis for punishment. We must ascertain the truth of the matter. Let us begin by making inquiries of the couple in the bloom. It's not called the bloom, but whatever you say. The young couple would hurl themselves off a cliff. A right tragedy, and no doubt. But it seems odd they'd go all the way to the western highlands to do it. No shortage of places to fall from around here. Mm. Somebody suspects foul play. Not saying, well, the nature of the quest, I kind of expected foul play too, but you know how it is. Of course I heard about the poor buggers. Their luck ran out when Han Frank took a fancy to the girl. He's a greedy bastard, just like his father, Lord Yadrancho, and the fury forbid you get in the way of what he wants. Mm. Folk are saying suicide, but I ain't convinced. Knew both of them well, I did, and they're not the sort to just give up on life, let alone each other. Hmm. So basically, all signs point to fair, fair play? Foul play. Hmm, so a cloud of suspicion hangs over the suicide. It bears further investigation, but first things first. Momozigo has vanished yet again. Wait, wait, let's talk it over. Ah, help me! Momozigo, he's in trouble. Come, Katarina. I'm going to walk the wall, just in case he's up top. Uh. Hmm? This button is from Momozigo's garment, but he is nowhere to be seen. This bodes ill. That little fella, he was your friend? He was asking about, asking me about the suicides when some mon men bonded him up and carried him off. I hope we'll be alright. It seems plain there are those who take unkindly to our investigation. The time for caution is past. Let us confront this onafrond himself. He was recently sighted near the fast fiddle on the level above. What? Fast fiddle? What? Um. What? Now I'm getting messaged. Oh. I could still take an Ethernet shard and get there quicker. That said, I probably should have taken the one on the broom, but you know, what's done is done. Last vigil.
Okay. Go away. Let me die in peace. If you wish to throw your life away, we will not stop you. But first, answer me something and clear your conscience. Our companion was seized by unknown men while investigating the recent suicides, and it seems there is more to the incident than rumors would have us believe. Tell us what truly happened. I, I tried to break them apart. That much is true. But they didn't kill themselves. I brought her to the manor late one night, and she... She learned things she wasn't supposed to know. Learned how my father was dealing illicitly in furite. I implored father to overlook it, tried to convince him that she wouldn't talk, but he refused to listen. He ordered them taken to the western highlands, and they were... They were... Oh, gods, I loved her. I truly did. As for your friend, I fear they mean to silence him, too, at the Black Iron Bridge like they did the others. We thank you for your honesty. And shall bother you no more, but know this, you are still young. You have all the time in the world to begin anew to make amends, unlike this tired old man. We haven't a moment to waste, to slack eye on bridge, Katarina. His inability to say words correctly is ridiculous. Flying the wrong way. You know, why is there so little detail in this map? Look, it's fine over here, but this one's got nada. That's weird. What? That's even weirder. Okay. I. Okay. Gods, that was close. I thought I was a dead Lolafell. Forgive me my delay. The deep snow makes you work for every step. That's why I have a flying chocobo. So, you are the heartless cur who stole two innocent young lives. It is over. Surrender yourself. Like hell it's over. Mistake, mistake me not for one of those useless mercenaries. Not a shred of remorse, lowlier than a mindless beast. Such evil cannot be suffered. <sighs> Work here is... is... Musasai! Not come this far to fall here! Worry not, my friends. Twas but a dizzy spell. Now then, I believe we visited all the major cities of Air's Ear. Momzigo, you have been a fine guide and a companion both. I am grateful for your help. All that remains is to find Kogarashi and deliver unto him his reckoning. Katarina. In the course of righting wrongs across the land, you have become a great samurai, one whose skills rival even those of Kogarashi. There is little and less left for me to teach you. I thank the kami for blessing me with such a fine pupil. Come, my friends, let us return to the city and find a place to warm ourselves. Hmm. And Momo Zigo knows there's something out of sorts going on. It's not just him being old. At least I assume that's what's going on. He 
He's hiding something. The question is what? again just clicking places that seem right to me. I don't know, technically it is. Okay then. Oh. Katarina, thank the gods you're here. It's Musasai. He's collapsed again as soon as we entered the gates. He's resting at the inn right now, but the Shurigan... So he said the old man is ill, gravely ill. He he hasn't long left. It's a wonder he could even draw his katana. All this time he's been pushing on by sheer force of will, punishing evildoers across the land, even saving my hide. What is it that drives him on? Why does he go to such lengths to find this Kogarashi character? The old man won't breathe a word on the matter, but there must be some reason. If only we knew we could finish his duty in his stead. For now, there's not to do but keep watch over him. I'll see to that, so you needn't worry. If there's a change, you'll be the very first to know. And with that, I'm going to call this good, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day!